Yeah, it was terrific. It, um, you know, we, we looked at the draw at the start of the year and you go, you know, the two top t- uh, four teams from last year, so it was a tough one. And um, I don't think there's any easy, easy ones out there, but um, to, to play like we did tonight was, um, you know, there was re- just there were only really only the small windows we gave them. And um, we thought our shape was terrific, our um, intent, our connectedness across the ground was really good and um, you know, it's still a really young team and, and you know, from that perspective it was a mature performance you know, with, a, with a lot of young players playing key roles. There's such um, there's a great balance about that side, they're also there's great flexibility for them. Have you had a, a list that's had that amount of versatility and flexibility about it before? Yeah, it's probably something that's um, evolved, and the ability to play the blokes in different positions. Yeah, it's it's um, it's it's been a real positive for us the first few weeks, throwing blokes around in different roles, and they're all embracing that, and that's the key part of it all. They're all they're all embracing it to be able to um, you know throw different numbers through the middle, but also half back, half forward. We've got some flexibility to be able to do that at the moment, and first two weeks that's probably been you know a real strength. So hopefully it continues to be a strength. Is it still Adams, Parker and Mills to come back into that? It's, I know it's a great problem to have, but what, how do you get them back in? I, I generally don't worry about it because it usually takes care of itself and, and you know, they won't be back for a few weeks. So um, you know, we, we'll be cracking in with these boys and, and um, worrying about what's in front of us. We sort of... You can't look too far ahead, you know. We've got the Bombers next week back at the SCG. Hopefully it's a packed, packed house and, and we've got to get to work again. It's just, um, you know, we're very much about, about that. John, um, there's all those pleasing aspects. It's not saying the fact that you, know, you, you wasted so many really good opportunities on goal that you just kept on coming and coming. Mm. And in those situations, especially against such a good team on our home deck, in front of so many of their fans, you yeah. easily drop your load, but you just... Yeah, that was, you know, I thought that first quarter was outstanding. It's, you know, our repeats and getting the ball back in our front half. And we did it so much right. They got through a couple of times and kicked goals. But um, if you looked at what we were doing right that first quarter, we did a lot right. And, um, um, and you know, to be able to understand that they're going to get their, their crack at it for different parts of the game, which they did. They've got great players, they've got great experience. But, you know, it was a... You know, it was, I think we had, you know, I think there was 26, 23 and under midfielders running around. There's, you know, there's plenty of youth out there, and they were, they've played a bit of footy together now, and and um, had some confidence in what they've been able to do over the preseason. And, you know, that's what we've got to continue to work on is what we've been able to do, and our strengths have been really, really coming to the fore, and, you know, that's what we'll keep harping on. Yeah. Yeah, that's important, you know, to have a lot more scoring shots, but also have 20, 21 plus more tackles. I think that was, you know, that's really critical to keep our, you know, we've generally over the years been pretty good at our pressure and so to keep that as our trademark, but then looking at our, you know, our shape and our, our working with each other and the and the discipline was um, outstanding. And, you know, then that gives us a starting point for the, the players then to be able to to make their own decisions and, and use their strengths, which they're able to do. It's pretty hard after two games to play in anything for a season, and um, so I'm a bit reluctant to make closed-ended statements. Someone told me never make closed-ended statements. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's worked for the last couple of weeks. It's been super. He's been terrific. No question about that. He's been you know, really important when we've had so much experience out of our team. You know, if you look at our midfield group tonight, you know, he was <coughs> clearly the older one there, and he's only. 27. So it's sort of, um, but we'll need we'll play him where we need him. You know, you know, I think that's that's just we're, we're two games in. You know, if we need him forward, we'll play him forward. But at the moment, he's going really well midfield, and he's been super. And but I think as a, I just think he'll play both roles wherever he plays. He's he's quality. So it, I'm not too worried about. Him. So how much of the that play in Oh, he, he played the whole pre-season there. He trained the whole pre-season there. So, and they were all training. So he had a great pre-season. But he's done that a couple of times now. And, um, you know, he's played a bit more. He's clearly in there a bit more now. But, um, you know, he's all Australian half-forward too. He's just a good player. 
So wherever you play him, I think he has an impact and um, I think he's good for our team because he works so hard. He's just a, an incredible worker. He's, he's hard and tough and then he just runs. He's got an amazing engine on him. And so the combination of those two, he can, and he's, you know, his ability to now to be able to make decisions in, ground, in the game and put himself forward when he needs to, put himself midfield when he needs to, has been probably the, you know, the terrific thing we've seen over the pre-season with him. Yeah, he's always been fit. I mean, he's a great preparer. He's just got probably more confidence now to put himself in and out of what he needs to do, and, and he's doing that really, really well now. He's sensing the moments, and you know, he's been terrific. You had uh, 19 marks inside 50, and the, the whole forward structure seemed to just kick over beautifully. I mean, this is an amazing thing to say. If Buddy retires, it sort of looks like both McDonald and Marty have sort of stepped up as in there's more space for them to grow now and, and take a lead. Uh, yeah, but you've got to be mindful too that, you know, um, Langs did such a great job for us because he took the top defender every week and allowed Joel and Logan to get older and mature a bit. You know, young key forwards find it hard against Stephen May and Darcy Moore and those guys. They find it hard when they're just getting bigger and stronger and they're just growing. So it was really important for Lance to be able to take those best defenders there for as long as he did and allow the natural growth of these young forwards to come through. They're not going to be stars every week. They're going to be up and down a bit. Um, but they, you know, we we've been backing them in, and they've been having a go, and they're going all right. You know, so it's, you know, that's. I think you know, last week was tough on a on a pretty slippery night. You know, tonight they're able to um, get hold of it a bit, which was super. So, yeah, we'll keep on. So, you know, they'll be playing. So that's which is really exciting for us. What about the benefits of having so many guys that can play this? Yeah, and you know we've been sort of working on that a bit, and uh, whether it's McInerney and Rowbottom and Jordan and um, Warner, um, you know Heaney, those guys that can, and you've got Goulden, you know they can go. There's a number of them. I've left out a few couple probably. They they can go inside half forward wing, a couple of them about Braden Campbell. These guys can go back. Um, which is important. It's been working, but we know how hard it is. You know, it doesn't get any easier. It's the last two weeks. It's been good, and um, and we'll, we'll continue to review and get going and and back the boys in. They've been, you know, terrific over the preseason. Sorry. You're on. You've only got three games in the MCG this year, and they're both they're all in the first eight weeks. I mean, how important is it for you um, to make it close to the end? Just kind of give them, you know. I think it's got to be important anyway. Yeah. You know. Oh, no, you've got, you got to get there. Yeah. You got to get there. It's important every week. Yeah. It's, he's really important. So is SCG next week or wherever else we play. They, I mean, they're all got to be. You got to. You got to get the. You got to get there. So you know, it's round two. I'm. Uh, I'm a very much a, <laughs> a realist. Let's just make sure we get the get the job done every week. Yeah, he, um, uh, he's, he's, we, we've played him a fair bit when he's been f fit the last couple of years, um, Louis, and and he's been good because he just allows a bit of flexibility in our team. Rams doesn't have to play the key post all the time with Tommy. Um, you know, we'll look at every team's forward set up and see how many tools they've got, um, but that's been working so far, and we've got Nick who can play on tools and smalls, and that's the beauty about him is that he can he can play on the guys that, you know, whether it's Mason Cox or but he can also play in the smalls, and so that gives us a bit of flexibility, which is important. Johnny, you've been around for a long time. You've seen a ball hit the camera before in the fight. No, no. I didn't know what happened. I was actually looking at, I was looking forward to the ball because it was a kick inside 50, and then I thought, what happened there? And it just, just dropped short, and I would have been not happy if they'd have got a goal from it because the ball went down the other end, and uh, I thought, surely the umpire could have stopped it. I just That was my first thought. I don't know whether our old mate was... Driving it the right way, or maybe you should lift it up a little bit. How does it, how does it work? Those things. I've got no idea. Just maybe keep it away a little bit higher. I've noticed it whizzing around a few times. It gets nice and low. You've got to be a bit careful. Has it? 
Well, we may we may need to look into this a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>